Hi, I'm Dan Vogel from the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia, and I'm here at the American Society of Hematology meeting in Atlanta. Uh, and one of the things that I'm really excited about is our presentation this evening of the preliminary results from a trial of a new molecule called Modacafusp alpha, which is a hard to pronounce name, but uh, this was previously known as TAK573. And the reason that I'm very excited about Modacafusp is that this is a completely new type of treatment for multiple myeloma. Modacafusp is an antibody and it's aimed at CD38, a molecule on the outside of myeloma cells, which is the same target of existing treatments like daratumumab and isotuximab. What makes Modacafusp different is that rather than just being an antibody, it has attached to the end of it two interferon molecules shown here as the red hexagons. Interferon is a normal hormone made by the body that has actually been used as a treatment for multiple myeloma back in the 1990s and seemed to have some effect but had a lot of side effects. So the idea here is that by targeting the antibody against the interferon uh, so that the idea here is that by targeting the interferon with the CD38 antibody, we can direct the interferon targeting to the cells that we most want to hit. In this case, primarily multiple myeloma cells and allow the interferon signaling to signal to the myeloma cells to die. And thereby avoiding all of the other effects of interferon and the side effects that it can cause. And we do see an effect that when we target interferon to myeloma cells, you can see that the interferon can directly kill multiple myeloma cells. At the same time, the target CD38 is not just on multiple myeloma cells, and is on other cells like T cells and NK cells and B cells, which are all part of the immune system. And so when we give modacafus to patients, we can see that in addition to killing myeloma cells, interferon, when it latches onto these other cells, can provide a stimulatory signal and activate the immune system. And if you combine dying myeloma cells with an activated immune system in the bone marrow, you get a lot of killing of myeloma cells. That's what we hope to see. And one of the exciting things about this trial is we think that's what we've actually seen. Now, we did see some side effects when we give modacafus to patients, primarily that it can affect blood counts. This slide from our presentation shows the range of platelet counts as we give modacafus to patients. It's given once a month as an intravenous infusion. And you can see that early on in treatment, the platelets dip down. Those days are labeled cycle one, day eight, and cycle one, day 15 of each 28-day cycle. But over on the right side of this figure, you can see that the platelet counts get much better in patients whose myeloma respond and who continue on treatment. And we did see those responses in a significant number of patients. We're presenting this week the results from 29 patients who received what we think is an effective dose of modacafus, 1.5 milligrams per kilogram given every four weeks. And of those 29 patients, 11 or 38% had a partial response or better, meaning that their myeloma shrank by at least 50%. And that includes six patients who had a very good partial response or a 90% decrease in their myeloma levels and two patients with a complete response where the myeloma proteins disappeared from the blood and urine and we couldn't find any myeloma cells left in the bone marrow. Patients on this study, almost all of them had received a prior anti-CD38 antibody like daratumumab or isotuximab. And because almost all the patients had already received those antibodies and their myeloma was refractory to them, this treatment, which also targets CD38, clearly still worked. And the overall response rate was still 38%, even in people for whom daratumumab and isotuximab had stopped working. We even had some patients in this study who had previously gotten 
treatments aimed at B-cell maturation antigen, or BCMA, which is one of the newest targets for myeloma therapy. It's the target of the antibody drug conjugate belantamab and also of the CAR T-cells known as IDACEL or ABECMA. And even among patients who have been, who've been through those treatments, we still saw that 20% or 3 out of 15 patients had a really good, officially a very good partial response. And some of these responses lasted a long time. Among the 11 patients who had a partial response, those responses happened quickly within a month, and they last, could last a long time. Two of our patients had complete responses and are continuing on treatment for over nine months. And another two patients with very good partial responses are continuing on treatment now for over a year. So we're excited that this treatment, which does not seem to have a tremendous amount of side effects and also seems to work for a significant number of patients, could be a real treatment option for people in coming years. We're starting a randomized phase two study, meaning looking at two different doses of modacafust in a large group of patients to try to decide which is going to be the best dose. And that study is going to be starting in the next couple of months. Thanks very much.